This is my 3D printed jet boat. It is 34 inches long and weighs 3.5 kilograms. I wasted about 1.75 kilograms of plastic during the printing process. The design is from Thingiverse and it's a remix of a propeller driven boat and a separate jet drive to make a jet boat. The hull is printed in five sections and there's no way to align it properly. This is a weak point in the design. I made connectors in Tinkercad to help align the pieces and add strength. The hull pieces are glued together with marine epoxy. Threaded brass inserts are melted into holes using a soldering iron. Bondo and primer was used to smooth the defects from 3D printing. I used a 3674-1900 AV motor with a 120 amp speed controller and a 5200 milliamp 100C 6 cell lithium battery. The motor shaft and drive shaft did not align. I had to custom design a motor mount to get everything to line up. Total print time was around 250 hours. Everything was printed with PETG on an Ender 3 V2. PETG is notoriously difficult to print with, but after a couple of wasted spools, I was able to dial in all my printer settings. The rudder linkage was a nightmare because it was binding. The stern hole was too small and the rubber bellows I bought were too small as well. I designed a new bellow in Fusion 360 and printed it using flexible TPU. The steering rod is an M3 rod bent into position. The threads were sanded off to slide smoothly through the bellow. I used a bit of marine grease as well to make it watertight. I also designed a battery holder in Tinkercad using a rail system. The bottom rail has threaded brass inserts so the battery can be moved forward and aft to adjust the center of gravity. Maiden voyage of the jet boat. I don't know the turn radius. I don't know the distance it can go. I think it floats. It floated in the tub. Oh, I hope I don't lose this thing. That's why I got the hip raise on. Here we go. It's working! <laughs>